Is chess a science, sport or an art, or is it something completely different? There are many different answers depending on who you ask. The second world chess champion, Emmanuel Lasker called chess the human struggle chess is a clash of ideas between two players, not only do you have to struggle against your opponent, you also have to face yourself, chess is a very logical game, but it is also psychological as we must learn how to deal with the roller coaster of emotions. We can experience during a chess game the joy of finding a tactical combination, the disappointment of throwing away a completely winning position, in the thrill of attacking the opponent's king are just a few of these emotions, today we're going to look at one of my own games and explore the inner game of chess psychology, in this game, I have the white pieces, and here he played knight to b6, gaining a tempo against my bishop, I have an isolated queen pawn. So if he can control the square in front of the pawn, in this case d5 and begin to trade pieces my isolated queen pawn will become more of a weakness after bishop, d3, in knight f d5, black's knight blockades my isolated pawn preventing it from advancing, and also opening up an attack against my dark squared bishop, since my bishop doesn't have a great square to retreat, I traded bishops with bishop takes e7, and queen takes e7, black has traded a pair of minor pieces. One step closer to his goal of entering an end game, where I am stuck with a weak isolated pawn, one strength of the isolated pawn in the middle game is since it does not have a pawn able to protect it on the files, next to it in this case the c and the e files, these files can be used by the rooks and queen, after rook e1, my rook enjoys the semi-open e file in x-rays black's queen, now black can play a normal move such as bishop d7, preparing to anchor a knight on d5, with bishop c6. The game may continue slowly where white will have some chances of building an attack on the king's side, but black will have a solid game, one of the biggest challenges to remember, when playing a much higher rated opponent is that the higher rated opponent often feels great pressure to defeat you, instead of focusing on your own emotions, fearing the rating of your opponent, remember that they also have to deal with their own psychological pressure. My opponent must have felt this pressure and decided to take a serious risk by playing f5. When I first saw this move, I was completely shocked my opponent is 600 points higher rated than me, so he must know what he's doing, right I started to imagine all of his kingside pawns rushing forward with g5, and h5, I felt like I was going to be pushed right off the board, I closed my eyes took a deep breath and decided to look at the position. Not my opponent's rating although this move looks aggressive, it doesn't threaten anything yet, no matter how strong a move may look you always have to look for its weaknesses, by playing f5, black c6 pawn is now backward as it can only be protected by pieces and will be a long term target, notice by moving the pawn off f7, the a2 to g8 diagonal has been weakened, and black's king is on that diagonal after calming my emotions in analyzing. The position I realized this move was a serious weakness and I played queen b3, my queen is now on the same diagonal as my opponent's king in more pressure is being added to the d5 knight, if my opponent played a normal looking move such as developing a piece with bishop d7, can you see the real threat I created by playing queen b3, white has a powerful combination starting with knight takes d5, since the e-pawn is pinned to black's queen after knight takes d5, I was ready to play queen takes d5. Winning a piece since after e takes d5, in rook takes e7, white is up a full piece and is already invading black's territory instead of allowing this tactic. My opponent wisely moved his queen off of the dangerous e file with queen f6, after knight takes d5, black decided not to recapture with the e pawn, which would create an isolated pawn and open up the e file for white's rook, instead black played knight takes d5, I increased the pressure against black's knight with bishop c4, and after black added another defender to the knight with rook d8, how can white add more pressure against the knight on d5, if you found rook e5, great job. White's rook adds more pressure to black's knight and also prepares to complete development with rook a, to e1, black moved the knight to safety with knight c7, and after rook a to e1, all of white's pieces are already developed and black is feeling the pressure against the backward e6 pawn, this is why a move like f5 should only be played after a very careful thought, pawns cannot move backwards and black is stuck defending the weak e6 pawn, black played rook e8. Adding more protection to the weak e6 pawn, my opponent's risky strategy has backfired and he is in serious trouble, 
As my position continued to get better and better, I became more and more nervous and fearful, I must be missing something, I thought once again I started to fear my opponent, so I closed my eyes paused and forced myself to focus on the position, not my opponent's rating since the e6 pawn is pinned, I was very tempted to play d5, which turns out to be a very powerful move. But when you have a safe very strong position, it's a good idea to keep the position simple and clear, so your opponent doesn't have a chance to escape in the complications, black's only active move is b5. Trying to break out of his bind rather than allowing complications, I took a deep breath realized there was no hurry and I prevented my opponent's only chance for counterplay by playing a4, now that b5 is under control, I was ready to blast open the position with d5, my opponent in desperation tried to complicate things by playing b5, anyway without having a pawn on a4, my only option to capture the pawn would be with bishop takes b5, when rook b8 would pin my bishop to the queen. I wanted to avoid this, so I played a takes b5, my opponent pinned the pawn to my queen with rook b8, but his scattered army is no match for my fully developed pieces working together, I push forward with d5, black does not want to capture the pawn and lose material on the e-file, so he played bishop b7, finally completing development and connecting his rooks, but it is too little too late, after d6, my isolated pawn is now a pass pawn marching up the board, and pushing black's pieces around after knight d5, the passed pawn advances again with d7, attacking black's rook, if black's rook leaves the e-file, white will crash through with rook takes e6, so black played rook e7, imagine yourself in my situation, I have outplayed the top player in this national tournament, and I know that I am close to winning the game, this is the most dangerous moment in a chess game, because when you realize you are winning, it is easy to relax and become overconfident. I had to once again close my eyes and allow my emotions to run, its course after taking a deep breath I reminded myself to focus on the position itself, and use the same thought process, I used to enter a winning position in order to actually win the game, I calculated a combination where I would sacrifice my queen, knowing that the pass pawn on d7 combined with my powerful rooks and knight would overwhelm my opponent's position, I started the combination with bishop takes d5, after bishop takes d5. I quickly double checked my analysis realized it worked and with a trembling hand, I played the queen sacrifice queen takes d5 by sacrificing my queen, I open up the e-file for my powerful rooks, after e takes d5, in rook takes e7, my threat is rook e8 check, attacking black's rook in promoting the passed pawn, if my opponent blocked the promotion square with rook d8, I would win the game by playing rook e8 check, king f7, and after knight e5 check, black is forced to give up his queen. When white has an overwhelming advantage, my opponent decided to play queen d6, and after rook e8 check in f7, can you find a combination that forces black to give up his queen, if you decided to bring your last piece into the attack by playing knight g5 check, great job, black's king is forced to the same rank as the queen after king f6, white forks the black king and queen with rook a to e6 check. And after queen takes e6, knight takes e6, white is now completely winning, although I had an overwhelming position, I still was afraid that my opponent's rook could somehow deliver a back rank checkmate, once again I focused on the position instead of my emotions and realized I was going to promote my pawn into a queen and easily win the game, my opponent resigned the game which completed my biggest tournament upset in my chess career, some important things to remember from this game. Include that you too can play chess and all chess players make mistakes, do not allow fear to overwhelm you your opponent also has their own struggles remember to take a deep breath, and return your focus to the position are you ready to overcome your emotions and find good moves. Thanks for watching my video, bye bye see ya.